Thursday 26th, it is 4AR Automotive and Tesla news. Let's get the show on the road. We've got big Amazon purchase coming this week. Volvo about to launch their first EV. New autonomous joint venture come together. LEVC, Geely owns, starting up a new van um, launched out of London. Youngsters seem to like autonomous driving for the future. Daimler has stopped internal combustion engines. Polestar's coming out with its first one. Ansys Autodesk are teaming up. And then we're going to roll into the Tesla show on the back end. See you then. Welcome back. Please remember, if you appreciate everything, then please give it a thumbs up. And if it's good, then share it. Let's get going. U.S. automaker Rivian could eventually outperform Tesla as a manufacturer of electric vehicles after Amazon, who did invest, I think, 700 million of them a little while ago, um, placed an order for 100,000 electric vans to deliver goods to consumers. Wow. No wonder they're going to compete. Next, two major players in the automotive industry, Aptiv, formerly Delphi Automotive, and Hyundai Motor Group are forming an autonomous driving joint venture. This will advance the design, development, and commercialization of SEA Level 4 and 5 autonomous technologies. So that's going, you know, full, leave it alone, leave the car, it'll drive itself, stuff, sit in the back seat up to that level, furthering the partnership partner's leadership position in the global self-driving ecosystem. Collaborators will begin full testing driverless systems in 2020 and have a production-ready autonomous driving platform available for robo-taxi providers, fleet operators, um, and general automotive by 2022, apparently. There you go. Volvo has confirmed that it's just weeks away from revealing its first all EV, which will join the range of XC40 SUV. The Swedish car maker made the revelation along with various technical renderings of the powertrain and the claim that it will be one of the safest cars on the road. Oh yeah, Volvo. LEVC, London Electric Vehicle Company, has launched its second product, the 2900 kg GVW van named the LCV, the maker of LEVC TX Electric Taxi, the black cab driving around, which is becoming a little more popular despite its price, uh, which um, which you'll see around London more often than not, there's a few other, way, other places. Uh, the van has a nominal payload of 1000 kg in a load space large enough for two euro pallet and it claims an 80 mile range so audi recently conducted a study about driverless cars featuring 21,000 respondents across nine major countries and it's like a g9 us uk germany france italy spain south korea japan and china most younger generations um i'm going to put myself in there um only because i agree with them consider the idea of autonomous driving to be advantageous during the survey respondents under the age of 24 gen z's showed high readiness for self-driving technology 73 percent said they were curious about the technology so u.s regulators may allow automakers and owners to choose the sounds emitted by electric cars and karma automotive is taking full advantage of it the automakers developed a unique sound that will be used by its luxury cars, starting with the 2020 Revero GT. While the Revero GT is a plug-in hybrid with an integrated gasoline engine, it will use the new sound when operating in electric mode. Regulations will soon require all electric vehicles and hybrids to emit distinct sounds. Autonomous driving startup Auto X has raised US 100 million in its latest Series A funding round. Founded in 2016, Auto X focuses on autonomous driving solutions. The startup is using real time cameras and sensors, robotics, and AI to develop autonomous self driving technology. Set to work with Alibaba and apply autonomous driving solutions with the logistics and delivery sectors. And yes, Daimler has stopped development of internal combustion engines to focus on electric vehicles. According to German magazine Auto Motor and Sport, Daimler development chief Marcus Schaefer said that they are currently have no plans to develop a next gen combustion engine and they are focusing purely on new EV powertrains. Good for them. Over in 
EV capital of the world, uh, Norway, specifically in Oslo, Polestar has, is opening up its first store called Space. Scheduled to open its doors in October. At least three other Polestar spaces are planned for other Norwegian cities, Stavanger, Bergen and Trondheim. Uh, check out Polestar, beautiful cars, out of Volvo, real high performance. I think it's out of Volvo racing, the designs that have come out. Very interesting stuff. And last up before we go, Tesla. Realism when designing virtual models is tantamount to automakers' ability to shorten the vehicle development life cycle to accelerate its pace. Leading software providers Ansys and Autodesk have teamed up uh, for two of their core platforms, part of the newly forged collaborative effort. So yeah, let's go Tesla show. Um, seems to be a weekly regular. So due to Tesla being relatively new brand and the variables of EV battery, loss unknowns and subsidies, there are some initial concerns about how the vehicles would hold their value over time. Well, Autolist states that the Model S declined an average of 27% and after accumulating 50,000 miles that uh, in comparison to others which are dropping 36 percent after 50,000 miles a similar data is also coming out of china as well good for them seems like a good vehicle to invest in can't say that very often the tesla model 3 earned the coveted top safety pick and plus award for the insurance institute for highway safety contradicting what I said last week, which they weren't even in the rankings because they hadn't had enough crashes. So it's made it in there. Model 3 is the only second all-electric vehicle to receive the award. The first was the Audi e-tron electric SUV. They've been working on a new aero wheel option for Model S, which basically jacks the wheels out of 18 to a 19-inch sports wheel. And what actually goes on is that the software, when it's been done, automatically updates, changes its range, battery life, because it affects all of those kind of good things. So clever stuff. It's also going to be coming in for the Tesla model. Uh, along with the S, it's coming in with the Model X. And with the electric vehicle revelation gaining traction as more and more auto giants are stepping into the EV market, Tesla Model 3 is emerging even now in Europe as one of the very best-selling EVs, especially in your, um, uh, across some of the major ones right now. Uh, the Model 3 has become the hot selling car in Netherlands uh, with year-to-date sales crossing 10,000 units. The Model 3 was the third best-selling vehicle in the country in January to August period. In the Norwegian market, Tesla Model 3 is the hottest selling car too by a large margin with around 12,000 units sold in Norway so far this year. And it is also expected to uh, increase in places like Austria, Belgium, Spain, and Italy fast coming through. So we're gonna see a lot of those around in mainland Europe. Last up for this week and for Tesla, Netflix is not the only other core thing that's going on inside a Tesla. There is a new feature being introduced, which is asking people to be happy guinea pigs which is called Smart Summon. It is very cool. There's a great video going on in YouTube. Basically, so you start to see this around the parking lots, these vehicles moving around with no drivers whatsoever as you summon up your vehicle to come find you somewhere else. I think it's really cool. Watched it go. It goes very slowly, very carefully, very safely. Check it out. That is it. We are done. I hope you appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. If you do like it, please share it all around. That is it for this week's 4IR Automotive and slash Tesla News. Thanks.